In this video, I will be demonstrating a prokaryotic replication fork by using a zipper. I have used several household items to portray the different concepts or enzymes that have important roles in DNA replication. Initially, the DNA double helix is in its typical ladder shape. Helicase, which is represented by the sliding piece of the zipper, works to unwind the DNA double helix. Unwinding is necessary to be able to have each strand replicated. The origin of replication occurs at the Y of the fork and allows replication to begin. As helicase unwinds, gyrase works to relieve the tension from the unwinding process. In this video, gyrase is the blue clothespin at the top of the screen. Without gyrase, our DNA would be a supercoiled mess. At the same time, single-stranded binded proteins, represented by the blue thumbtacks, bind to strands of DNA to keep them separate. This is important to prevent the reformation of the double helix without replicating. Next, RNA primase is added to the three prime ends. It is represented by the blue clips on each separated strand. This allows for DNA polymerase 3 to add the nucleotides in a three prime direction to the leading or lagging strand of DNA. Nucleotides would be the teeth of the zipper and make up new replicated DNA. Phosphodiester bonds these joining nucleotides and would be the equivalent of the hooks between the teeth of the zipper. DNA polymerase 3 is represented by the yellow dogs. Without RNA primase, this would not happen. As replication continues, helicase must continue to unwind the helix. As you may have noticed, one strand is able to replicate in the direction of the fork. This is called continuous replication and it takes place on the leading strand. The leading strand is 3' prime to 5' prime to ensure replication can occur 5' prime to 3'. Prime. In this video, the leading strand is on the left side. On the other strand, replication is going away from the fork and has run out of DNA to replicate. This strand is called the lagging strand and has discontinuous replication. When there is no more 5' prime end of DNA to replicate, the lagging strand must place the RNA primase at this 3' prime end to begin replication again. DNA polymerase 1, which is represented by the pink eraser, must go back in and replace RNA primase with DNA. For the sake of resources, I had to quote-unquote erase the primase in stages rather than at the same time. This process continues until the helicase is done unwinding. As you can see, the right strand has many short pieces that have just been replicated. These are called Okazaki fragments and occur due to strands being anti-parallel and in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Then ligase goes in and seals the nicks in the lagging strand of DNA. This resolves the Okazaki fragments and forms a continuous strand of DNA.